The premise of the show, we start out with um, Kimberly Wells, Alex, played by Alex Wilton Regan, and she's just been kidnapped by this um, rogue terrorist group in Syria. And when we focus on the DIA here, this, in this lovely hallway, um, you find Hannah Rivera and Noah Morgenthau, who are two DIA analysts, and we're on our way to sort of tracking down the, the sort of Hansel and Gretel breadcrumbs that that we, anything that we can find to track her down and then Dalton's team can come, come nab her. Well, when I, when I first read the script, I thought she was, she was so cool because, well, first she's, she's got this, which is really cool. She's got this, this nasty little scar, which is uh, this, this memoir in a way of what's happened to her in her past because she used to be a field agent. And then something happened, I think what we're going on is that her cover was blown. And um, so she has this really traumatizing, broken past. But she's one of those women that's like, you know what, I'm going to get over it. I'm going to go forward. And I'm going to use it to make me stronger. So I think that, that playing her in a way is so empowering to me. Because I'm like, all right, got to put on Hannah's pants now. Which means anything that's going to bother me does not bother me. You know what I mean? It's, it's nice and, and, and strengthening in a way to, to, to get, be able to step in her shoes. Um, what I love most about Hannah, is, what I love most about her is that she's resourceful, is that she doesn't quit. Um, you know, people like her in, well, I mean, if, if it happened to me, for instance, if I was out in the field and my cover got blown and I was cut up by a terrorist, I mean, God knows, I would just be a broken mess. But like somebody like Hannah, is going to use that to make herself stronger, and I and it's something that I respect so much. And it's so, it's just amazing to be able to play um, in a character like hers. So I just love her strength. I think is the is the best um, way to put that. I hope to see Hannah progress. You know, because uh, when we first see her here, she's sort of out of her element. She's not used to being an analyst. She's used to being out in the field. So watching Dalton's team do their th stuff and not being able to help them personally I think is one of her biggest challenges because she just watches helplessly from a computer screen or from a drone. Um, so I think I would love to see her actually, I think we want to see her go back in the field and see what happens if maybe she gets to confront what happened in her past and, and, and sort of overcome that hurdle. I would, I would love to see how, how that would um, that play out. It, what I really like about this that, that our, our writer Dean has done is that we have this um, interesting dynamic between two women in power um, where we're both supporting each other and upholding each other versus I think a lot of the times in network TV you see the cattiness amongst powerful women play out. And um, I sort of love that because of what's happened to Hannah, a lot of the people in DC might not think she would be up for the task of looking out for field agents or the ISA. But Anne Haish, or Patricia Campbell, is like, no, she's got this. So I mean, it's like a really nice little dynamic that we have where we're all supporting each other and we're all looking out for, for the team on the, on the, the boots on the ground. Um, it's, it's really cool. Um, we have a really eclectic cast. Uh, I think Hedy, the guy who plays um, Amir, is like a walking human translator. He speaks so many dialects of Arabic. <laughs> but they're all able, and Mike has sort of, the guy who plays Dalton, um, he, he's already sort of assumed this leadership role in the cast. Um, and it's really amazing how it all just unfolded, really naturally and organically, in a sense, because we just, the, their team is the, they've already, they've, they've been here earlier practicing on, on being the seamless unit. And, um, and they've been practicing and training so hard and, and so arduously. And, they, and they've really come to a great point where they're like, all right, let's do it. We're, we're a little G unit. So they're awesome. I mean, it already feels like a family. So I'm Moroccan. Um, coincidentally, so it was such a blast shooting in my hometown. I mean, this is where I was born in Fez, just two hours away from here. So it's it's been it's been such a such a surreal experience. I was like, I'm going to Morocco. What? I, what? Um, but it's it's been awesome. You know, it's it's a really exotic locale. Obviously, the cast has been going around, getting to know another culture. And it was a bit of a culture clash in the beginning because they're like, what do I eat? Is this OK to eat? Am I going to get food poisoning?
but it's been um, it's been nice seeing them immersed in it and being like, oh, this is awesome. You know, they all love Morocco. I mean, they've been going to the souks. They've been going. So it's been um, it's been really nice. And in a way, it's really joined us together even more because we've all stuck together because we're, you know, they're outsiders in a way. So they're like, all right, let's stick together. And I think that's what sort of made them even more of a unit because they're always <laughs> we're always hanging out. <laughs>